some one Sunday afternoon. Saw face had an angel's grace, thought he was worth my swoon. Didn't know what hit me, no, I didn't know what fit me. Must been the love of us, yes, the love of us, the one of you could ever. I've got the fever. Tender, and while you're at it, send a little Jeanette's way. <laughs> Good night, folks. Fabulous job, ladies. Thanks, Thanks Lady Jeanette. And don't forget to see me about your paychecks. Oh. I almost forgot. Olga, honey, lay off the borscht. You were jiggling more than a sumo convention tonight. She has it out of her, I swear. She's always right. Yes, we're talking about you. Eat a bag of shit carpet liquor. Stupid Russian bitch. Hey, baby, I'm hungry. Oh, I bet you are. Unfortunately, I can't eat tonight. I got an addition tomorrow morning. And you know what that means. Yeah, another shot at the Bulimia national title? <laughs> if I get the job, I'll take you out to dinner tomorrow. Okay. I told you I was gonna get money, and you know it. that. Oh, I don't know how we want to freaking face love triangles. Listen to me. God, someone our age, she is really freaky. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta use the bathroom. Get a check first. I know you're saying something you shouldn't be saying because I'm gonna take care of you and close this whole fucking place down. Are you really? Yeah. Where would you go on a Friday night? Oh, your I, wife I need sure this place like I need a fucking home. Uh, all over town for 20% of the dope. Uh -huh. Your place was packed, but I didn't get paid, so where's my money? Up your ass, I never agreed to that shit. Hey, watch your mouth. You know what happens to old ladies with dirty mouths? Uh, well, my mouth's been dirty ever since I gave you that blowjob oh, last bullshit. week. Bullshit, <laughs> bullshit. Am I speaking English or do I need to uh -huh. translate for you? Oh, please put that away. I've seen bigger and prettier in my day. Put the gun down, asshole! Trixie, get out of here. 
This is just his way of negotiating. He's flashing his gun around because his other parts just aren't big enough for me to notice. Uh, oh, you couldn't feel a horse. Bite me. Just put the gun down. You better be going, young lady. Anyways. I don't know, okay? I had a moment of heroism. I I didn't want to see Lady Jeanette get hurt. But why don't we leave the heroics for Wonder Woman and Xena? I'm sure Lady Jeanette can take care of her own. What is this for? Pack. For what? I haven't gone that far, but I've seen enough movies with guns, gangsters, and showbiz girls to know they don't mix. Do you really think that they're uh, you shot a member of the mob. They're probably already putting bounty on your head. Well, what are we supposed to do? You got us into this mess? You have any great ideas? Hmm? We can go to New York. I've always wanted to go to New York. Come on, we can whisk ourselves down Broadway through Times Square. We can't afford New York, Eva Gabor. We can get jobs. I'm hoping we don't have to be anywhere long enough to get jobs. Here. What is this? I'm not gonna need this. Think again. Why? Remember how I told you all those stories about growing up outside of El Paso? Yes. I think my parents are up for a visit. Hello, ladies. I'm Officer Dick. <laughs> hey. hey, now this is official, official police business. Now I need to know if either of you have any information regarding who shot Lady Jeanette. I do. <laughs> you weren't even. Shh, shh, shh. Don't listen to this whore. I saw everything. It was take seated. We're almost there. All right, this is in the middle of nowhere. The last Starbucks was 50 miles ago. <coughs> What's wrong with the air out here? It's not fresh air, Trix. It's good for you. You'll get used to it. Ugh, I hope so. I almost coughed up a lung. Now, my parents aren't as open-minded as yours. So just remember the story, right? Yes, yes, we're roommates. Susan Lee, what are you doing here? <laughs> After hearing all those wonderful stories about California, I thought you'd never come home to visit. <laughs> I missed you, Sugar Plum. I missed you too, Mom. <gasps> and who's your friend? Ah, this is my roommate, Trixie. Oh, Trixie. Nice to meet you, Trixie. Yeah. That's an interesting name. What kind of name is that? Um, well, Trixie's actually just my stage name. My, my real name's Patricia, so. You know. <laughs> oh, your stage name. You Californians sure are crazy. <laughs> oh, in these parts, we'd probably call you Trisha. Mind if I call you Trisha? Well, I, I just think she'd probably prefer Trixie. Oh, all right. Trixie. Now, where are those boys to help grab your bags? George? Junior? Susan Lee's here. Those boys are always up to no good. You probably haven't had a real home-cooked meal in a while. I have to make you one tonight. Men like to marry hardy looking women. <laughs> now your uh, your father's turned your bedroom into his hunting room. Do you all have problems sharing the couch? No, I'm fine with that. So uh, 
How long are your girls in town for? Mm -hmm. About a week. Huh? Our apartment is being fumigated, so. Fumigated? Mm -hmm. You're not living in a slum, are you? No, Mom. It's okay. I heard there are a lot of no good landlords out there that try to take advantage of young girls like you. So, Trixie, what do you do for work? Uh, I dance in the same show as Zuli. Oh. Did you bring any of your costumes with you? <laughs> Junior let Trixie finish telling her story. Well, it's funny you should even say that. I remember when, when she was a little girl, I used to take her to ballet class. Oh, God, block your ears. <laughs> when she was little, she used to wear her little tutu everywhere. She even wore it in the bathtub once. I got pictures. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, my. You know, Junior, boys are going down to the creek tonight. You ought to go with them. I have to help Mom with the bake sale. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to get outside and get some fresh air. Boy belongs outside getting fresh air, not in the damn kitchen. George. What? Those boys are nothing but trouble. All they do is shoot at raccoons and set off fireworks. Yeah, boys would be boys. Same stuff I used to do when I was a kid. It's good for them. Well, I think Junior needs better influences around him than that group you want him to hang out with. Nothing wrong with them boys. They're a newspaper headline waiting to happen. Mama. Dad. I'm so sorry. Where are my manners? <laughs> I'm sure you girls have lots of stories to tell. Trixie. Why is there so little on your plate? I made plenty of food to go around. There's no sense in rationing. No, it's okay. I'm on a diet. Mm -hmm. She only eats organic food. <laughs> hey, you watch your mouth around Junior. I said organic. It's when food is... <laughs> Never mind. There's nothing wrong with my food. My mother gave me these recipes. She lived to be 86. <laughs> Thank the Lord it wasn't any longer. <laughs> you shouldn't expect to live much longer than that. She was diabetic the last 30. She still lived a long life. Mm. Trixie, is there anything special you'd like while you're staying with us? Kettle one? What the hell's that? It's a vodka. I saw it on the hills. I don't know how much more of this I can take. You have had a rough day. Roll over. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Yeah, I should check the voice. Phone's ringing. Really? You think I'm fucking deaf? Answer it, dipwad! Hello? Hello? Repair man. I didn't order a repair man. Is this a bitch that shot my partner? Oh my god. What? They're in. They're, they're in our apartment. Who? The. The guy you shot or the guy you chased after is, I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter because it's not good. Oh, damn. What? It should have been a better aim. <sighs> that is so not funny. You think they'll be back? Of course they'll be back. They're just checking to see if it's safe to return. Should we wait in? Nah, let's try to find them, uh, catch them off guard when they least expect it. Hey, boss. Look at this. Yeah, what? Nice it? rack, right? Let me see it. Oh. What the hell? This girl's in the show with Trixie. Looks like it's time for us to show Russia some love, huh? What do you say? <laughs> uh. We need to call the police. <laughs> like that would work. Trixie, you shot someone. The cops are probably after you. I have to get out of here. Your June Cleaver mom is seriously freaking me out. Mm, try living with her. At least now you see why I got out. God, after 20 years of her nagging, I'm surprised I didn't shoot someone. Hey, girls, can I get you another round? Yes, 
Do you have any uh, low carb beer? <laughs> low carb beer? Where about are you girls from? LA. Well, I don't know what those celebrities drink out there in Hollywood, but around here, we drink real beer. I'm actually from right down the street. Oh, really? What's your name, darling? Sue Lee. Well, my folks call me Suzanne Lee. Oh, yeah. You're George and Helen's girl. Mm -hmm. My older sister used to babysit you. My, how time flies. My name's Annie. I own this place. And I live upstairs, too. I'll get you your beers. Small town America. Mm-hmm. Actually, this is probably the worst place to hide out. Everyone knows everyone's business. <sighs> Just like Cheers, everyone knows your name. You still into Kirstie Alley? Um, it's Crystal Bernard, and she was on Wings. Ah. You do have the worst taste. Ah, uh, whatever I'm with you, aren't I? Here you go, girls. <laughs> You know, I was just talking with Earl over there, and he said this is the first time we've had girls in here in over a year. Really? Yep. Usually it's just some local farmers, truckers, and little old men. Sounds rough. <laughs> nah, I got a punch a bag in the back for practice and a rifle under the bar for game time. I think I'm covered. Sounds like it. Say, if you girls are in town for a while, don't be a stranger. I could use some intelligent conversation. Oh my god, I love this song. This song? Yeah, I used to dance around to my room to it. Yeah? In your underwear? It'd be hot. <laughs> oh, aren't you a little frisky tonight? I didn't know you like country music. Come on, I grew up out here. There's nothing on the radio but country. And Reverend Johnson's holy iron. You can't dance to that unless you've got serpents and the Holy Ghost. Come on. No. Feel the spirit. No way. Oh, don't be shy. You're a dancer. Uh, not to this music. It'll be fun. In front of all these hicks? Uh, it'll be the most exciting thing they see in their lives. Come on, give them a cheap thrill. Chuck, are you seeing this? Oh my god. <laughs> this has been my dream night. You girls were great! Well, I Wait, wait, don't tell me. You're professional dancers out in LA. Something like that. We do burlesque shows at martini lounges. It's the hottest thing going on. My, my, how fancy. I always want to do something classy like that here. The only entertainment we have is guessing how old the pickled eggs are or listening to Earl burp the alphabet. Say, how long you girls in town for? Hopefully not long. What my friend meant to say was we're not really sure. Well, you're always welcome to come back here and dance. You probably could even make some tips. That's mighty kind of you. This might be the whiskey talking, but maybe you could even do one of them shows you do in L.A. For him. Those two lard asses over there. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. I'll put some tablecloths down, we'll put some candles out, add a little class to this dump. And where do we get the dancers? Well, I'll talk to some of the girls at the beauty salon when I go into town next week. I'm sure some of them would just be dying to do something like this. There's a salon. Come on, what do you say? If it doesn't work out, so be it. Want to do poor old Annie a favor? Sure. But just one show. Woo! I wouldn't say Trixie is cold-blooded killer, but I wouldn't put past her to shoot Lady Jeanette. Why would you say that? I remember when she first joined this troupe. I am the lead, and she tried to take right out from under me. Cold and heartless bitch. 
She has ego size of red square. Maybe she think horror babushka tried to get in her way. <coughs> mm, pardon me, can I have water? Sure. Oh, I am such clots. Do you have tissue I can wipe? Sure. Oh no, now both my hands are full. Can you wipe for me? I, I can take the water if you want. No, I don't mind. Unless you are not comfortable with me. So? Do you have an idea where she might be hiding? You're not getting all of it. You need to reach inside. Deep inside. Did I tell you I like your name? All of a sudden, Dick. Oh, okay, we need to get back on track now. Um, <clears throat> do you remember the question? Nah. I never was friends with her, so I don't know where she will go. But girl is total Rosafire. I didn't want her to try to convert me. Rosa what? You know, like singer songwriter, yeah. PE teacher, lady softball player. Yeah, I'm still not following you. Uh, what is word? I remember. Lesbian. Hey, wait. My sister's a softball player. I see you're eating a little bit more, Trixie. I knew it'd grow on you. <laughs> well, couldn't starve myself forever. <laughs> Trixie. But I am starting to really like it. Well, aren't you sweet? You know you're welcome here to visit any time you want, with or without Susan Lee. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Quite an honor. None of my high school boyfriends ever got that invitation. Maybe that's because Daddy always met him out the door with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's rattlesnakes out in the yard there. I was protecting them. So, uh, when you gals reckon you'll be back in these parts? Well, um, seems like you may actually get to enjoy our company a little while longer. Huh. Oh, what do you mean? Is everything okay back in California? Yeah, everything's okay. I just, you know, got off the phone with the landlord, and he said, you know, the bug infestation problem was bigger than he thought, and it's just gonna take longer and we can't go back until they're sure it's gone. How long that gonna take? Hmm, a few weeks, maybe a month. Oh. Hopefully sooner. I hope y'all aren't being taken advantage of. Well, if you're gonna be here that long, you girls better look for jobs. Already taken care of. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Sully and I got a job working uh, down at the Lasso. Annie's bar? A bar? Yeah, the one right off the interstate. Well, that's no place for two young girls to work. There's nothing there but drunk truckers. Relax, Mom. We're gonna help her class it up. I can just see it now. Sequin curtains, and candles. Do you need any help with the design? Junior! Oh, hush. Well. You can almost hear the crickets chirping. I'm sorry, baby. I really thought there'd be some sort of turnout. I mean, you saw how excited Annie was. Hello? Hi. Are you holding auditions here? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on in. So, what do I do? Go home. What? She's just a little cranky today. Crimson Tide. So, um, what's your name, darling? Mary Lou. Mary Lou. I'm Sue Lee. Trixie. It's nice to meet you. Same here. So, what made you come down here today? The voice is in her head, perhaps? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. My husband would kill me if he knew I was here. And why is that? He's just protective. And besides, with how active we are in the church and all. Well then, what are you doing here? I've always wanted to dance, ever since I was a little girl. 
with my name up in lights. So here I am giving my big dream a shot. <laughs> well, give it your best shot. I didn't even know what burlesque was, but Annie gave me some books, and I think I'm prepared. job. What'd you think, Trixie? That's the best we've seen all day. Oh, thanks. Um, so rehearsals are Saturday afternoons. Is that okay with you? What? Yeah, that's fine. I'll work something out with Brad. Are we taking her? Yeah. Were we watching the same audition? Excuse me, is there a problem? I'm sorry, could you excuse us for just a second? Why are you being such a bitch today? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm stuck in Hicktown trying to put together a burlesque troupe with the women Christian soldiers of America. Okay, I want to get back to our normal life just as much as you do. But until we know we can go back, we have to make some money and kill some time. And what better way to do both? Yes. Oh, I can just see the disaster now. Cool, it tricks. Give the girl a chance. She may be the best we see all day. Unfortunately, you have a point. Okay, fine. All right. And if you're a good girl, I'll invite my mom to the show. Oh my God, she would just die. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, honey, you're in. Oh, my stars! This is so exciting. Oh my God, thank you. I mean, <laughs> you are not gonna regret this. Oh gosh, there's Brad. I gotta run. Okay, don't forget rehearsals this Saturday. I won't. I hope I'm in the right place. Is this where the auditions are? You got it. Well, what was she auditioning for? One of the nuns in Sister X7? <laughs> I'm Suli. Well, hi, Suli. Nice to meet you. I'm Angela. I'm owner of the Amber Waves Hair Salon down on Main Street. And you are? Trixie. Darling, I love your hair. You want to come on down to the salon sometime? We could have some real fun. So, you look uh, prepared. Oh, you mean these? I like them too. I just had these puppies put in about a month ago in Dallas. They're the latest model too. Want to feel them? No. Yes. <laughs> Well, I feel just like the real thing. So, are you ready to dance for us? No need, you're in. You, you don't need me to dance for you? No, you're a natural. You look the part, you have the right attitude. You're in. All right. Hello? Is this the Vista Bonita Apartments?
welcome. Ten percent, right? Fifteen. Anything else? Yeah, you know uh, where we can find Trixie? No, and I don't care. I am star now. Hey! Trixie's girlfriend, Sully, is missing ever since Trixie shoot Lady Jeanette. Find her, you will find Trixie. All right, ladies, are you ready? We're gonna take it from the top again. And five, six, seven, eight. Hip one, two, hip three, four, arm five, six, blow seven, eight. With which lips? All right, what seems to be the problem here, ladies? I'm just having a hard time remembering it. But don't worry, I'll get it. I have to worry, sweetie. The show's on Saturday. Shit, it's this Saturday? And Angela, this isn't the Peppermint Hippo Strip Club. You need to tone it down a little bit, okay? Well, I thought that I was doing great. Maybe if we just had the music, then we could feel it and feel the dance. Okay, okay. well, all right, let's see if that works. I would well, like that. Okay. Me too. And five, six, seven, eight. Hip one, two, three, four, arm five, six, blow kiss, seven, eight. Sully, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah! So what's wrong? Are we looking at the same people? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a complete mess. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. We have to cancel the show. Cancel the show? These girls are pouring their heart into it. Yeah, well, maybe if they pour their brains into it, then we would actually have something. Just give them time. We don't have time! Okay, Trixie, this is not LA. People don't expect that much here. Let's just try it. I just, I'm just a perfectionist, and I love that about you, but we really have nothing to lose. Oh, yeah, just our reputation, that's all. Oh. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I'm just we dancing. Help you? Dancing? What'd you learn from Sunday's sermon about dancing? It's the devil's language. Oh, Lord. Let's go. I need Let's to go. grab my stuff. Whoa, get your hands off her. What'd you say? You heard me. I don't appreciate when some roid raging, Bible thumping man interrupts my rehearsals because he decided to take out his small penis frustrations out on his bitch. Yeah! You got a little nasty mouth, don't you? I bet you know all about small dicks. Thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. Trixie, let's not start. Come on, put some clothes on. I don't want you walking around like the rest of these whores. What an asshole. I swear, next time I see that man, I... I, I saw it coming. <sighs> I guess it's a threesome. Are you okay with that? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> My kind of lady. So anyway, I told the boys, you can't just change the feed. That's like sticking a finger in a dike. <laughs> so funny. You said put a finger in. You know what? This food is so delicious. Thank you, Trisha. I went out of my way to find an organic market. It's just part of being a good host. Aww. You didn't have to do that. That's so sweet, Mom. I just want my children to be honest, hospitable people. Mm. Hey, Junior. You know I set those targets up for you out back last week? I haven't seen you using them yet. Well, I've been busy helping Mama with the bake sale. Mm -hmm. Well, gonna have to learn to use a gun someday. Guns kill. Guns kill. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, they kill deer, guns kill pheasant, ducks, geese, rabbits, coyotes. Shit, you wouldn't have Christmas dinner on the table if it wasn't for guns. I have never served coyote. Oh. Please. You see what keeping this boy indoors all day is doing to him? Well, he's not like you. He's honest and responsible. 
Something I'd like to see more of around here. He offered to help us with our costumes. Oh, Jesus. We've got a fairy. So, does anyone want to... Well, just yeah, because I'll... a boy likes to help out at home doesn't make him a fairy. Oh, bullshit. Every boy should learn how to help out at home. Obviously, you haven't. What does that mean? I think you know. So our show is opening on Saturday. You get plenty of help. How? How? I work for a living. I put uh, I put dinner on the table. I, I pay for you to go down to that uh, beauty salon. So all I do is sit here hey, all day. Hey, I've sat at this table every night for two weeks, and I have never seen you guys fight like this before. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Language tricks. What's going on? There are no bugs in your apartment. There are no bugs in your apartment. I called your apartment manager today and he said that there hasn't been a fumigation. Junior, shut up. I wanna know what's going on. Are y'all in trouble or something? Well, you know I, what? Um, he had no idea what he was talking about. Excuse me? Yeah, maybe he, maybe the fumigation's finished. Seriously, we have been having so much fun that I didn't even think about calling. You've been having fun here. Yeah. Well, that certainly is a surprise. Okay, girls, right this way. Just a few more steps. Come on. Oh, it can be open. One sec. Okay, okay. Keep them closed. Okay. Open. Wow. wow! Oh, it looks beautiful, Annie. I hope you girls like it. I spent all morning scrubbing and cleaning. I found dirt in here older than me, and here I thought it was the other way around. Ew. <laughs> I don't think I'm in the right place. I'm looking for Annie's truck stop bar. Not a trendy bar! Oh, Angela! <laughs> We're gonna be the talk of the town. I hope. <laughs> you girls haven't seen everything yet. I have Chuck and Earl working off their bar tabs. They have turned my storage room into one bitchin' dressing room. Nice. Oh, dressing rooms? Oh, I feel like a star already. <sighs> How long does show time? 20 minutes. Oh, I'm nervous. I need a drink. Oh, man, I feel you there. You're nervous? No, I just need a drink. Oh, baby, do you want anything? No, thanks. Let me see your face. You just need a little more cheek. Hell, we all need a little more cheek. I am a buns woman myself. Give me a man with a nice, hard ass. Mm. How about you? Buns are nice. You know, there's not too many single men in this town. And they're usually just double baggers. <laughs> you know, you need a nice shade of lipstick. Brighten you right up. I'm not really looking for men, anyway. Smart girl. You know, they're not good for anything anyways, except for one thing. And they're usually not even very good at that. Give me an hour on a riding lawnmower, and I am good to go. <laughs> Open. So, uh, how long have you known Trixie? Mm, a few years. Yeah, you two seem to have a connection. But, check yourself out in here. <laughs> wow, it looks great. Thanks. <laughs> Are you two lovers? Yeah. Yes. How'd you guess? Intuition. And yes. I'm cool with it. I mean, who am I to judge? I am just a horny bitch. Girl, you read my mind. Ooh, Ooh and shots too. Well, there is not a soul out there, so I figured we could use a little fortification. Mm -hmm. I like the way you think. Look at you, sexy mama. And you did it for me? Well, check you out. You have some talent. 
You girls ought to come down to the salon sometime. I have been dying to. Mared. Mared. What, Mared? Oh, that's what dancers say before they take the stage? Oh, well then. Mired! Is everybody decent? Hi, Hi come in! Mary Lou, what happened? Well, I was just passing through and wanted to wish you girls good luck. Oh, that's so sweet. You should stay for the show. Yeah. I really want to, but I can't. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. We'll get you a drink. Mm -hmm. I really can't. I left Brett and uh, he's probably looking for me. You left Brett? Yeah. I left him a note while he was out with the boys. Well, good for you. Here, stay. Trixie's got your back. Yeah, official bodyguard. Yeah. Well, I have been practicing. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it. All right, girl. Well, then let's get you up here and we'll get you all party. Come on. Oh my God. What? It's pretty bad, isn't it? <gasps> Ouch. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. Give us a hug. You know, if this had happened a month ago, I would have blamed myself. I always thought I was screwing up, got what I deserved. No one deserves that, darling. Five minutes. Oh, we gotta get you ready. Here. I can fix that. No one will notice. I got a surprise for you boys tonight. Remember those girls that were dancing in here a few weeks ago? They're putting on a show tonight. You hired strippers? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no strippers. It's a classy burlesque review. It's all the rage in them fancy bars in New York and LA. What did she say? Sound like strippers to me. Yeah. I am turning this place into a classy joint, like it or not. I even have new drink menus. 31 flavors of martinis. <laughs> I'll stick with beer. Come on, try one. Okay, I will have a Budweiser martini. Draft. Nice. Good boys. It's time. Thank you all for coming out here tonight. Woo! Thank you all. I will spit in your drinks. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Country Lace. Saving all my love for when my baby gets home How am I gonna get by when I'm so all alone? We can talk on the telephone But I'll be just trying right until my baby gets home When he's around, he's alone Yeah, come on, come to daddy come. go up to my apartment and things are going smooth and I give him the green light and we start going at it and then he stops and he says to me I am gonna give you 
a big package. Oh my god. <laughs> it gets worse. Then he just keeps going on and on about his deliveries and his packages. You know, that is the last time that I go out with a UPS guy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, okay. so was it? Was it what? Was it a big package? Well, let me just say that I didn't walk for three days. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> You're terrible. So, Annie, what's your worst date? Four words. Earl from the bar. Oh, oh. no, sir. Please, you don't need to say any more than that. Mm. Almost turned me on to women. <laughs> Hi, Lou. You're awfully quiet over there. Tell me, what is the story? Yeah. What you gonna do now? I, I haven't thought that far enough ahead. Maybe I'll head up to Dallas. I have some family there. I've never lived in a big city before. Oh, well, it is a big change, but you're gonna love it. I have some friends up in Big D. Uh, they can help uh, acclimate you. Well, that would be wonderful. We are gonna miss you. Oh, how sweet, but I'm sure you can find a better dancer to replace me. You don't need to leave town so quickly. Where would I stay? I got an apartment above the bar. Why don't you stay with me for a bit, till you make a plan? No, I wouldn't want to put you out any. Who's putting out? <clears throat> well, my glass is empty. Anyone want more? Well, I don't think you have to ask twice. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Brett. Where is she? Where's who? Don't play games with me, you stupid whore. What did you just call me? That's right. And don't come back! I don't care. You should go back to your room.
y'all come in? Did you have a... find out like this. How did you want me to find out? <laughs> Mom! It's my fault for letting you run off to California. No, it's not. Maybe I'm just not a good mother. <sighs> but I never saw a problem in letting my children find their own way. What the hell is going on out there? Nothing, George. Go to bed. I'm sorry finds out about this, he'll kick you all out of here immediately. You're not gonna tell him, are you? It's for you to decide. Go to bed. But you best start thinking about when you plan on returning to California. Um, I thought it was chapstick. Go to bed! Suli, could you please pass the potatoes? Thanks. Juicy, could you pass the water? No, oh, it's out. I can go get some more. No, it's okay. I can do it. No, it's okay. Susan Lee can refill the pitcher, Patricia. Patricia? Okay, nobody else is going to talk about it, I will. George. You girls sure have been causing your share of trouble around here. Who's Patricia? George. I think the girls are just used to the way certain things are out in California. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. But this has got to stop. I will not tolerate this. What, what's, what's that? Seems that your little show has uh, enraged our local community. Ali, this Friday at the Lasso Bar and Truck Stop to protest the immoral entertainment that has invaded our family-oriented community. Where did you get this? You know, people passing them out down at the gas station. It's kind of awesome. Awesome? You, you, you think having people protest your show is awesome? Well, all press is good press. Well, that's all fine and good for you, Ms. Hollywood. Mom. It's so easy to create a scene, isn't it? Tear apart a town, tear apart a family. When all the damage is done, you can fly back to La La Land and leave us here to pick up the pieces. I'm not trying to ruin your family. What did you come here for? Mom, will you stop attacking Trixie? Don't protect her. It's all her fault. Oh, it's my fault? What exactly is going on here? Do you want to know what our daughter's been up to? Mom, please. Oh, drama. Junior, go to your room. Ma. You heard your mother. All this time I thought our daughter, the one we raised to be a good Christian girl, had come back to be visit us for a few days. She hasn't come back. What are you getting at? There's strangers in my house. This better not be one more of your rams. Oh, Trixie, we don't have to take this bullshit. Now you're cursing. Did she teach you that too? Oh, you know what? You really need to just back off, okay? Don't you dare to speak to me like that. You're in my house. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody sit down and shut up. Sit. <laughs> Now, while I am upset about the 
controversy that you girls have started with your show. I don't understand why you're just picking on Trixie. Trixie has corrupted our little girl. She's stolen Susan Lee from us and taken her to a world full of wild dancing, booze, and immoral behavior. No, she hasn't. I love Trixie. Junior, go to your room. Oh, man. I'm sorry, but... I love Trixie. We met in Los Angeles three years ago, and we have been inseparable ever since. You just haven't met the right man. No, Mom. I am the way I am, and I am very happy about it. And if you can't be happy that I am happy about this, then maybe you aren't the loving parent that you thought you were. I just want you to accept me and love me for who I am. And to accept Trixie too. I know she's not exactly the person that you thought I end up with, but she is the one that I am with. And if you could just try to see her the way that I do for one moment, then maybe you would see the amazing, wonderful, and beautiful person that she is. I love her. It's all right. It's okay. Look, I think it's best you girls leave us alone for the night. Let us work this out. Here you go, girls. You certainly deserve it. To coming out. To coming out. Uh, you're coming out of what? Closet. Were you stuck or something? We're lesbians. Oh, I'm kind of liking them adult videos. Sweetheart, you just haven't met the right man yet. You know what? That is the second time I've heard that tonight. Why don't you buy this man another drink? Oh, yeah. This is my lucky day. <laughs> so, what are you girls going to do now? I don't know. I think we might be heading back to California. That certainly is a shame. You will be missed. So, how's Mary Lou working out? She's fine. She's out shopping with Angela right now. They're trying to get her a new look for her new life. Oh, she's shopping with Angela. It's going to take her from a church confessional to strip club in a matter of minutes. <laughs> straight back to confessional. <laughs> I'd like that. Get on your knees and tell me all your sins. What'd you do that for? You can have it back when you behave. Has, uh, what's his name been around here? Who, Brett? Mm -hmm. No, he hasn't. I'm surprised. Man, I would have thought he would have burnt this place down by now. She does miss him, though. You wouldn't believe the amount of times I walked in on her bawling her eyes out. Oh, no. She wants to go back to him. Oh, God. It would be such a mistake for her to go back to that asshole. Hey, now, are we talking about Brett, the uh, uh, born-again fellow who works now at the service station? Nice of you to join in on the mm. conversation. You're welcome. Uh, maybe it's passing out. These flyers, just about everybody. Oh, no. Oh, you got one of them flyers, too? Hey, where'd you get yours? A Jehovah's Witnesses came to my door and gave me one. Okay. Wait, wait, let me see that. There's gonna be a protest here tomorrow night? We gotta cancel the show, girls. No. no. I'm sorry, I can't have this kind of commotion. My license will get pulled. Annie, no. no, no, when I agreed to do something like this, I did not think it was gonna get out of hand. We have to cancel it. Please, Annie, no. no just... We have to do this one last show. Well, think of it as our going away grand finale. Yeah, and come on, do you want uh, Brett to win because Mary Lou's gonna go back to him? know just how to get me. Fine, one last show. But if it gets too rowdy, I'm pulling the plug. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Mom and Dad are sleeping. 
They said to tell you that they love you. They left some money in an envelope so you guys could stay in a hotel for a week. <laughs> I love you too, sis. I thought I would never see you again. You said you had more information for me? I might. And? How much is it worth to you? I met what has to be the hottest thing to hit small town America. The country list burlesque troupe is taking over the small town by storm and causing such a wave of controversy. Now, the founder of this troupe is from California, and her name is Trixie. Oh, wait, she seems to be walking. Trixie! Trixie! Let's see if we can get her to talk Trixie. to us. Trixie, over here, over cool. here. Hi, how are you? Hi! Vivian Wong from Outlicious TV News. Tell me a little hey. bit about what scared you in such a provocative project. Uh, it was just a lucky shot, I guess. Yeah, I love funny. that. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Trixie, for talking to us. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Reporting live from Lasso Bar and Truck Stop in Texas, I'm Vivian Wong for Outlicious TV News. Oh my god. Woo! Can you believe it? We got a packed house tonight. I know! Congratulations. Thanks, darling. Must have been all them flyers that were passed out. Yeah, see, I told you there's no such thing as bad press. Girls, go get ready. I'll send some drinks back to the dressing room in a bit. I'll take them back for you. Nice try. No boys in the dressing room. You know, being a dancer makes me very flexible. No boys allowed in the dressing room. Did you see the buns hoisted up in those jeans? He may be the one. Well, the one for tonight. Well, he's all yours, Angela. <laughs> As it should be. Mama don't share. I'm so nervous. Just picture everyone naked. That is what I'm doing. What a surprise. Mary Lou, I think that is the first time I've heard you say anything sarcastic. Annie must be rubbing off on me. <laughs> You can say that again. <laughs> so, I've got some bad news. Is everybody sitting down? What is it? We are heading back to California at the end of the week. What? This is our last show. Oh no! No, you can't leave! I know, but we were only supposed to be here for a week. Everything alright in here? And besides, I mean, with all the controversy surrounding Andy's bar, that was before all these people showed up. We got a packed house out there. I had Chuck and Earl working off their bar tabs as doormen. Wow. Mm -hmm. You girls can't leave. There's a lot of money to be made. I know, but we just have too much we have to get back to. Sorry, Annie. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Well, don't you two look close. She's been so nice to me ever since I left Brett. Yeah. I can see that. Hey, excuse me. Pardon me, sir. We're all full tonight. Uh, you don't understand. My wife's about to go on stage and dance around like a little harlot. Oh, you're the fella who's been causing all the trouble around here. Uh, look, I'm just here to speak out about uh, immorality that's going to wreck our community. If you want to take one of these... Excuse me. Maybe you didn't hear me when I said that we were full. So, 
I told him that if he wants this date to end with a happy ending, he is going to have to find a better restaurant than Hometown Buffet. Oh, gross. <laughs> Let's just say that he did not get all he could eat that night. Annie, that has not been two minutes. I hope it's okay for me to come back here. Annie said it shouldn't be a problem. What can I do for you? Well, I'm Peggy. I'm Handy's new waitress. Anyway, I heard about your show, and I'm just dying to get involved somehow. I used to dance when I was a kid, and I even made children's squad in high school. It would be. Tonight's the last night. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry. You know, it doesn't have to be. What? Well, there's an interest not only in people coming to the show, but people wanting to be in it. you guys just hold some auditions and find some replacements and we can keep the show. Country Lace wouldn't be the same without Trixie and Suli. Oh, I know. But their spirit will live on. It's a win-win-win situation. I mean, y'all can go home and we can continue dancing. And Annie can keep the show. I don't know. But do you think it'll really work? What if it's just a fad? Uh, they're just crazy about that show out there. And there's just nothing, nothing going on in this town now. What do you think, Trix? Your dad did give us hotel money for the week. Then it's settled! Here is to the best town for less cancers in all of Texas. Showtime. Annie. I just like to fly a couple thousand miles uh, just to go to a dive bar. Let's go, shithead. Sit down. Come on, sit down. What do we do? Follow my lead. Just do exactly what I do. Howdy, boys. Would you like to hear about our drink specials? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Uh, I'll take a Manhattan. Uh, I'll take a Manhattan. Two Manhattans. Hey, what the fuck you do? What? You said do what you do. Yeah, but at the right time. This isn't Simon Says, douchebag. You know what? I really wish you'd stop calling me names. Oh, Marona. All of a sudden you're Mr. Sensitive? Get out of here. So I told him, I don't care how much you say you love me. I just had a wax, and you'll just have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Where is any of our drinks? It's probably swamped. All right, I can just go get them. Oh, my goodness! Well, look at you two. Not even a drop spilled, Annie. You are one very talented lady. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> How long has this been going on? Ever since she moved in. It came as a surprise to both of us. I guess we just brought it out of each other. Well, tell me about it.
Mommy. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for the way I, I reacted. I was just scared and confused. And felt like I didn't know you at all or that you were hiding something from me. You know I love you, right? Yeah. And I want you to be happy. Go out there. Give him hell. Make me proud. Okay. <laughs> Madame's et Monsieur's, I now present the new and improved Country Lace. Don't walk out that door, I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man, cause walking out the door. Well, he came over one Saturday night, and I told him he better love me right. I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man, cause walking out the door. Just ain't very nice. I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man because walking out the door. You know, he didn't listen to it. I to say, he said, move along, I'm gonna do it my way. I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man because walking out the door. Then he won't buy the cow, I don't need that man. I don't need that man. I don't need that man because walking out the door. Well, one of these days I'll find a man that's true. He'll walk in that door and make a fool of you. I'm gonna need that man. I'm gonna need that man. I'm gonna need that man, I'm gonna need that man. I'm gonna need that man because he's walking in. This many men in a room, it was at the end of the Cole Smith paternity hearing. Ah. Tonight is a special night, though. Tonight is the last night that we're gonna have Sully and Trixie on stage with us. I know, I know, they will be missed. Let's give them one more round of applause. You were great tonight. Thanks. <laughs> we were all great tonight. Why don't you come upstairs? I got a surprise for you. Ooh. I gotta go too. I gotta lasso me a cowboy. You girls ever head back in these parts again? Come on into the salon and say hi. Thanks, Angie. Hey, if you ever make it out to LA, you can stay with us. Thanks, darlings. Hold it! That's Brett! What did he say? Where's Trixie? What's going on? 
She's not her old boss in LA. She's armed and dangerous. I guess this is it. It is. You ready to face the music? I hope so. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for sticking by me. Of course, that's what girlfriends do. Not many. No, really, instead of running away when I ran into trouble, you stuck by me. And I love you. I love you too. Come on. You got a long drive ahead of us. Oh, God, I can't wait to get back to LA. I just hope that everything was blown over. Hello, <gasps> oh, Trixie. So, what are you gonna do with us? You shot me. What the hell do you think I'm going to do with you? I should have been a better aim. Hey, Vinny. Yeah? What are we going to do with him? I told you in the car. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did, though. You mean you don't have a plan? Of course we got a plan. We know what we're going to do with you. Yeah, he told me in the car. That's right, in the car. And that is? It's a surprise. It's a surprise. We're going to keep you in suspense for a while. In suspense. Hey, you know what? Annie's upstairs and she could come down any second. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> it's part of our plan. Yeah. But what plan? We're being held hostage by Dumb and Dumber. Get up. He said, get up. In case you haven't noticed, we're tied to these chairs! Shoot. Hey, untie them. Give us your arms. Now listen to me carefully, and your friend that owns this place won't be mopping up brains tomorrow. Now we're gonna go out to my car, and it will be funny business, monkey business, and no noise. Understood? Yeah, I got it. Not you, dumbass! Yes! Let's go! The door's opening. Holy shit! Hey, they call the cops! What's going on? She's trying to confuse us. These guys must be her thugs. Trixie, tell your men to put their weapons down and to surrender. Hey, uh, one false move, and they're dead! I repeat, put your weapons down. Nobody wants to shoot anybody. Hey, what the fuck's going on here? You won't take <laughs> us alive. I'm, I'm gonna give you till the count of three. You're not gonna get us this way! I am commanding you. Put your weapons down and get your hands in the air. One. Two. What the fuck is going on here? The last time I saw this many men ready to shoot was backstage at Chippendale. Oh, where did you miss? Oh, what was your fitness? Honey, I caught your news story while I was in the hospital. Congratulations, you're a sensation. I thought Trixie shot you. I thought Vinny killed you. He wishes. Believe me, he has tried several times, but the dumb shit can't get anything right. Sorry about that, ladies. We heard some commotion. Help this officer get these losers out of here. I still want my 20%. Oh, look in your pants, maybe you'll find it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so exciting. Ah! <laughs> Annie, this is the famous Lady Jeanette. And the most. She taught us everything we know about her. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, well, from what I've seen, you have quite a nice little show here. Let's talk. I need a drink. I just happen to know a nice, quiet bar. Oh! Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs>